Hey, in this video, I wanna take a look at the frontal bone specifically in our look at the skeletal system in general. Now, this video is available for free on YouTube as well as the member site, mrfordsclass.net. Now, for those of you who are members of the site, thank you for hanging with me. This is obviously the 10th video in the series just on the skeletal system. For those of you watching this on YouTube, come visit me at mrfordsclass.net. We have over 39 videos just on the skeletal system, breaking everything down into bite-sized pieces so you can learn it, you can get a good grade on it, and you can move on with your life. Once again, for those of you watching on YouTube, go to mrfordsclass.net. Membership is only $9.95 per month. Believe me, you're going to spend more at Starbucks or McDonald's or anywhere else in one month time and not walk away with what you need for your anatomy class. Okay, so let's get into the frontal bone. Now, in the previous video, we talked about the fact that the frontal bone was part of the cranial bones. And of course, the cranial bones are part of the skull, and the skull is part of the axial skeletal system, right? See how they all kind of track back? So here's our friend. Now, remember, white balance gets a little weird here, as you can probably tell. Here is the frontal bone. This right here is your frontal bone. Looking at the picture, you can also see the frontal bone. Now, that whole Oz thing, that's Latin for bone. So that's basically the bone frontal, okay? But the frontal bone, it's right here. So if you forget something, oh, you're basically smacking yourself on the frontal bone. So let's take a look more in depth with the frontal bone. Now, remember for a lab exam, you need to be able to label the frontal bone. Where's the frontal bone? Here's the frontal bone. Very good. For lecture exam, they get more into description. So here's some description for the frontal bone. It creates the top front portion of the skull. It is the roof of the nasal cavity. That's basically inside your nose. There's this huge cavity, and we'll talk about it in other videos in the series. And it forms the roof of the orbits. And again, we are going to have a separate video just on the bones that make up the orbit because that's guaranteed a test question. So once again, the frontal bone creates a top front portion of the skull, the roof of the nasal cavity, and the roof of the orbits. Also within the frontal bone are two sinuses, the frontal sinuses, which makes sense, frontal bone frontal sinuses, okay? So frontal bone contains two frontal sinuses. Now, this is your first bone in the skeletal system. It is not enough to just know that this is the frontal bone. Bumps, lumps, grooves, holes, all these different things within the bones are also on lab exams and lecture exams. These are also things you need to know. And that's kind of where the whole a difficulty comes in when we're dealing with the skeletal system. Because not only do you have to learn the bones probably for the very first time, but then you need to know all the landmarks on those bones, or I should say some of the landmarks. And so from here on out, I pick the landmarks that are most likely on an exam. Now, because I also like to give testing advice as well as information on anatomy, what you need to get your hands on as soon as possible is a review sheet for your lab practical. Most colleges, most universities give this. Most colleges and universities realize that there are too many structures to know on bones and that they will limit down what you must know. And so you need to get your hands on that review sheet. You need to get your hands on what parts of the bone you need to know as quickly, as quickly as possible. And if you talk to your professor and they give you a blank stare, then go talk to somebody who's had that class before and holds on to the paperwork. Okay, so there's my little warning as far as the bumps, lumps, grooves, and all that fun stuff. So on the frontal bone, there are two big processes you need to be aware of. And the first one is a supraorbital notch. Now, look at the word for a second. Supra, above, orbital the orbits notch. So your eyeballs, okay, this cavity here is your orbital cavity. That's where your eyes hang out. 
up here, and by the way, as I'm doing these weird things, this is not just for, for you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a moose, okay? It is so you also do this. You know, feel yourself. <laughs> by the way, on anatomy tests, it's always funny because students are grabbing themselves all over. Um, that didn't sound right. Moving on. Put your thumbs right here. This is the supraorbital notch or foramen. Okay, this is where blood vessels and nerves pass through, and you can feel it. And if you crank down too hard on it, it kind of hurts. Then you have something called the glabella. The glabella is this rise, this little bump right here, kind of between the eyes. This is a, um, a landmark that you need to be aware of. Okay, in the next video, we're going to take a look at the temporal bone. For members, just go on to the next video. For those of you watching on YouTube, go to mrfordsclass.net and check it out.